Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing another life video. And basically in this video, I had a few requests on how to basically get organized for school, how to get good grades, and how to achieve goals. Because that's really important in life, having a goal in life and having a direction of where you kind of want to go. So in high school, I was president of the medical club. So what happened was I was in 10th grade and I joined the medical club which was called Medical Explorers and that was a medical club in my school. I went to the Singapore American School in Singapore and basically uh, the club was given to me and when the club was given to me it was a club that was very did probably did, didn't do much. They had a few guest speakers coming in it was a special interest club and it wasn't a service club so what I did was through extensive amounts of hard work, of course, what I did was I took that club and basically made it into a service organization. So I installed a hospital volunteering system. I went to the National University Hospital. I asked all the doctors, I asked all the administrators if I could have my members of this club go into the hospital and volunteer there. Through a lot of hard work and a lot of, you know, no, yes, no from other hospitals, I finally set up that system. I also set up a surgery viewing system, so basically, members of the club could go into the operating room and see an open heart surgery live. I also did a, I also raised about more than $20,000 in three years for various charities like the uh, Viva Children's Cancer Foundation, the Singapore Heart Foundation, Cleft Lip F Foundation. So all those foundations benefited from our club because we raised enough money to do that. We, we sold popcorn, we sold, we did t-shirt design contests, we had to do ads for that, we had to do marketing for that. We did, we sold bubble tea. So I, I noticed that, you know, a lot of people like bubble tea and the school didn't have any bubble tea. So I was like, why don't I bring bubble tea to, a, to the school? So after talking through and really finding suppliers for that, really finding the operation side, I had a, a big team of people to, to do that for me. So I would delegate tasks, you know, this person, you're in charge of this whole, this whole activity. Then we created a bubble tea, bubble tea every, I think, Tuesday and Thursday back in high school. And uh, it was very, very popular and was very successful. So we were able to sell quite a bit of things, all of us, all the members, we were able to we about there were about 30 members when I first started and at the end there were 150 members I think which was pretty good. We all worked together to raise money for charity to volunteer at hospitals and it was just a really really good club. That was uh, nine, uh, 10th, 11th and 12th grade and in 12th grade I was promoted to become the community service council president. So what that means is that I worked with the principal of the high school to basically monitor all the service clubs at school and we had about 40 service clubs at school, more than 40 service clubs and I was president of the council that monitored this. Basically I was a consultant so if a club needed help in terms of like management or advertising and things like that, I would come in and consult them so I'd say, you know, what's your problem? What's your problem? No. I would say like, you know, and, you know what's the problem here and they'd be like da 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 and be like okay this is how you solve it so I was basically consultant for that we also managed the big assemblies at the at the beginning of school at the end of school it was it's probably more than the usual high schooler had to handle I also did varsity sports so I did varsity badminton in 11th grade and I was j uh, junior varsity in 10th grade badminton and I really wanted to be in varsity in 10th grade so I hired a trainer to train me so I could get into varsity in 11th grade and then I realized that I didn't really want to do badminton 12th grade so I didn't <laughs> I didn't continue varsity sports in 12th grade just because I also had the community service council resident position as well so it was a bit tough. Other than that, that's that's basically my extracurriculars. I did do well in high school, and a lot of people ask me, Roseanne, how did you do all that? How did you, you know, how, how did you find the time to basically juggle extracurriculars, academics together, and now I'm doing academics and, and this blog and this YouTube channel. And basically, um, I, I don't know. I really don't know. Like, people ask me that all the time, and I, I just, I don't really know how to answer it because I don't know. And um, that's how, that's kind of my philosophy to it. When, when I'm greeted with a lot of things to do, say I have to do this, I have to do that, I have to do this, I don't get really stressed out and I run away from all of it and I break down. I don't do that. I kind of like just slow myself down and I kind of detail everything out I need to do and then do it. Because the thing is, all those things are going to come to you, but you don't have the time to whine and grind about it. You don't have time to cry about it. You don't have the time. 
So you kind of just take it as you as you please. Take take the take the tasks at hand and complete them and focus and complete. That's what you need to do, not cry about it and break down because you don't have time to do that. And a lot of people ask me that same question. I and I go, I don't know. Because in myself, I just tell myself, I don't know, but I have to do it anyway. So I'm gonna have to get it done anyway. There's no choice, you know? I, I don't have a choice. So, you know, there were times where it was very tough. Like I remember like I, I didn't want to go to I had about eight meetings a week. Eight meetings. Because the thing is I led my I, I led the medical club, right? So I led basically a team of five and then what happened was towards the end of the year we had to do training for the new team coming in because I was leaving it was senior year so we had a team we doubled it so we had a team I had a team of 10 to work with that was quite stressful as well because I had to detail tasks for all the 10 members 10 executives so I was president and then you had you know the executives and then for service council, of course, obviously quite stressful because you monitor all the 40 service clubs. Yeah, it was, it was, oh, I had times where I just wanted to like just bury myself in a hole and I had AP exams to study. But I worked really hard. I worked really, really hard because I knew that, you know, it's worth it. I really wanted to do this medical club. It was like my baby. It was like my organization that I had to run. It was like my company, my own company. So I, I wanted to make, uh, I wanted to make room for that in my life and I wanted to make I had to make room for academics because I had to get into a good university because my parents and everything like that and my parents pressured me I know I came from an Asian family so my fr my family is all about grades 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 so they were like quit quit doing medical explorers quit doing all that stuff like Rosanna you're just wasting your time and everything like that but I realized that about myself is that I can't do well if I'm not under pressure and like I perform really really well under pressure so I need a lot of things to do to get things done if not I kind of just crumble <laughs> that was the thing they didn't understand about me so when I had all that and I had sports and everything like that I did really well in academics because I knew that I didn't have a choice and that I had to do it now because if I didn't do it now I wouldn't have time for anything else so that kind of helped me realize that <laughs> Like all the stress that I that I went through, I did I did break down a few times as well. Like it's kind of necessary, especially, but it's you have to take into consideration that it's sort of a learning process that you go through because as you as you progress, so say you're currently president of this club and you don't know what to do and it's just very stressful for you. But just take into account that basically it gets easier over time. So everything gets easier over time. Don't worry. For me, things definitely got easier over time. Got the hang of it. It's kind of like riding a bike. And once you know how to ride the bike, everything falls into place. Your schedule kind of routinizes and you kind of get used to doing all those things at once. So basically, that's my story. I didn't want to brag or anything about uh, anything like that, but I kind of wanted to tell you my background of basically organization and how I am, I guess, qualified to say the following tips for you. If you don't know how to balance like uni and you don't know how to balance extracurriculars and you don't know how to balance your life then, or have a direction or have a goal, then I have given you five tips. So number one is write down a list of things you have to do. So this is really important and really basic and really simple because like, most people don't think about this. So write down a list of all the things you need to do that will help you clarify what you do, what you need to do, what you don't. The second thing you need to do is prioritize what you need to do. So you have a list of all the things you do, need to do. The next thing you need to do is prioritize what is the most important task, what is the most important assignment, or what is the important, most important thing you have to do now. And the way to do that is not by whether you like it or not. The way to do that is by deadline. Is what you have to do due tomorrow? Is what you have to do due today? Is it due tonight? Basically, prioritize by deadline what you have to do and that way you get things done super fast. The third thing you need to do is focus. So the thing about this is that if you, the thing about me is that if I don't have a lot of things to do, it's hard for me to focus just because I'm sort of like that. I need a lot of things to do to focus, but focus because you have a lot of things to do and if you don't do one thing very well you kind of have to do you kind of waste time not you know doing that well and then moving on to the next thing you have to do if you don't do that well then and you don't do the next thing well you kind of produce bad quality work which is not good because you won't get good grades with that basically focus and a tip that I do I don't know if this works for everyone but I multitask so during a lecture, I'm really good at multitasking where I can listen to a lecture and understand everything 
while doing something on my computer so I always bring my computer to a lecture I have my notes there but most most of all I kind of multitask and I guess you have to get to a certain stage where you're comfortable with multitasking I don't recommend this if you haven't gone through a lot to be at this stage I guess but basically while the lecture is going on I can edit photos for my blog or start writing a blog post while the lecture is going on and I know exactly what she's saying and everything like that because I know because I write down the notes as well so I have two screens open one is editing my pictures one is my lecture notes and then the lectures playing and then I lecture notes uh, blog photos lecture notes blog photos I know it's crazy but I multitask because I honestly don't have enough time to handle everything the fourth thing to do is to set short-term goals for short-term rewards to achieve a long-term goal so what you do is if you have this goal in mind this thing that you want to achieve by say the end of your senior year set short-term goals because if you set short-term goals that means you'll get short-term rewards that will keep on encouraging you to keep on going for that long-term goal because say for example if you're in freshman year and you're in ninth grade and you're gonna be like okay I want to go to Harvard by the, end of senior, <clears throat> by the end of senior year I want to go to Harvard what you have to do is basically not just be like okay Harvard 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 what you have to do is set short-term goals okay in ninth grade okay I'm gonna take this subject I'm going to take this subject I'm gonna get this grade in it and then next year I'm gonna take this subject and I'm gonna get this grade in it and then when you get that grade it feels very satisfactory it feels very satisfying because you know you achieved something so make sure you set short-term goals so that that in the long term you can achieve that goal and by the end of senior year you would have gotten all those grades you have you would have done all those activities and extracurriculars to go to Harvard so and and, and you know you would have that application that would be Harvard worthy so basically just set short-term goals to achieve a a long-term goal in the future because short-term rewards are going to be more satisfying than a long-term reward in the long run make sure you do that so it encourages you to keep on pursuing that long-term goal and the last one is to visualize now this is really really important so a lot of people ask me Roseanne like like how do you how do you how do you get all this done so say for example right when I was in high school I had to make a sale like say the bubble tea sale right so I would actually sit down and I would actually visualize what it's going to be like and that way I would have seen like I, okay visualizing means kind of like closing your eyes or, or daydreaming how it's going to be like okay so I need the table the table's going to be there uh, the cups are going to be there the straws are going to be there my employees are going to my, my members are going to be there selling the bubble tea you know I can see it in my head and that's the thing you need to do you can see it in your head see the thing in your head and then you can figure out what you need from there and then set you can do a to-do list from there so visualize first and then you can make your to-do list so this might not be applicable to someone who's you know who wants to go to Harvard or something but if you want to go to Harvard you know go for it but say like any university you don't have to go to Harvard but anything like say any university and you kind of visualize yourself being there because it really helps you in terms of seeing yourself there when you see yourself there you feel happy and you feel like man that's what I that's where I want to go that's where I want to be uh, or, or even a even a not Harvard but even it could be like okay maybe you want really want to be a doctor or you really want to be that or, or something like that whatever you want to be <laughs> maybe a, a researcher or a nurse or a firefighter whatever it is you kind of just visualize in your head of you being that person and it kind of encourages you to keep on pursuing and working harder to achieve that goal so for example right now my my goal my goal in life is to keep on reaching more people with my blog and my YouTube channel and to basically make my blogging YouTube channel basically a company I really want that and that's my goal in life and I can see it sometimes I sit down or you know I daydream a lot I, I'm a daydreamer so I visualize a lot I kind of close my eyes and see myself being there and that really helps me and encourages me to pull those long nights you know sleeping at 3 a.m. in the morning to, to, to uh, finish that website that makes me want to you know wake up earlier like 7 6 a.m. start taking photos so I have time to study throughout the day that makes me want to edit pictures during lectures to not go out as much because I, I need to I need to study and I need to make time for my blog and I need to make time for this channel and that make that encourages me to become a better person because my blog is about empowering women so I want to make sure that I do that do my job well and that encourages me to try to improve myself as a person, try to improve this blog and YouTube channel as a as as org as an organization. It makes me want to, you know, run harder basically. So, you know, that's sort of what you have to do is to visualize yourself at your goal. 
whatever it might be. It might be a short-term goal. It might be a long-term goal. Whatever goal, visualize yourself, see yourself there. And it really helps you. It helps to encourage you. It also helps to detail out all the things the task you need to do to complete that goal as well basically see what what areas you're missing so those are my five tips to basically balancing everything getting things organized I really don't know what to call this video I really don't I hope you really found this video helpful just keep in mind that you know it's a process it's a journey and if you're willing to work for your goals and you're willing to do that you you'll be able to organize and balance your life well to achieve those goals and I hope you like this life lifestyle life video I'll be sure to make more simply take take your requests down below and I'll see you guys later bye